Hello everyone, I'm Isan. In this video, we'll explore the latest features introduced in One UI 6.1 version on Samsung smartphones. Okay, now let's just look at the latest features one by one. First, let's start by exploring the transition feature from always on display to the lock screen and home screen, which is now incredibly smooth and seamless. When unlocking the smartphone from the always on display to the lock screen and home screen, you'll notice that the transition of the wallpaper is incredibly smooth and seamless. In the wallpaper settings, you have access to various options that offer continuous animated transition in One UI 6.1 version. For this feature, unfortunately, we can't confirm whether other Samsung smartphone series will receive the seamless wallpaper transition feature, because One UI 6.1 hasn't been rolled out to other series yet. Then the second feature is the Always On Display Wallpaper option. In the latest version of One UI 6.1, the Always On Display now includes a wallpaper feature that can be displayed with a dim option on the Always On Display. In the previous version, this option wasn't available, and users could only choose the Always On Display with a black background. The third new feature in One UI 6.1 is the ability to add various frame options to the wallpaper on lock screen display. When selecting a photo from the gallery to use as wallpaper on the lock screen, you now have the option to choose from several frame effects at the bottom according to your preference. Within the frame option, you can select from various shapes and combine them with specific color according to your preference. Additionally, on the right side, you have the option to choose the color for the frame display, allowing for additional customization of your lock screen wallpaper. Then another interesting aspect is when you select a specific photo containing an object. You now have the option to delete the background behind the object. To activate this feature in the color section, simply select Erase Background, and the objects in the photo will be automatically selected and the background removed accordingly. For this feature, it seems there are still some imperfections, especially in photos with complex or difficult to trace edges. And here if you decide to remove the background from the photo, you have the flexibility to select two different color combinations for both the frame and background colors. You have the option to manually adjust the combination of two colors available, allowing you to customize the colors according to your preference. For example, you can choose blue for the background color and red for the frame color in the wallpaper section. This gives you the flexibility to customize the wallpaper to your liking and express your creativity. You can create a more appealing lock screen appearance by using the frame option and use erase background feature. Then, in addition to removing the background of the wallpaper image on the lock screen, you can now also delete the background part of the photo shown on the Always On Display. To remove the background display in the Always On Display photo, just access the Always On Display settings, and then select the Erase Background option. This will instantly remove the background part from the Always On Display view. This option will only appear if the photo displayed on the lock screen contains an object that can be automatically selected. Next, in the lock screen settings, there is an effect option in the right hand section that allows you to change the color of the wallpaper based on your preferred color effect. Here you can modify the wallpaper's appearance with the black and white effect, or you can also adjust the color tone of the wallpaper to specific colors according to your preference. Next, in the latest One UI 6.1 lock screen section, there is now an option to directly add widgets to the lock screen. To add widgets to the lock screen, you can simply tap on the widget sections at the bottom of the clock on the lock screen. From there, you can directly select the widget you want to add to the lock screen display. This widget will also immediately appear on the always on display. So far, the widget option is only available for a few applications that is pre-installed on Samsung smartphone. And unfortunately, there is still no widget option from other third-party applications. Then the next new feature is still within the Always On Display section. In the latest lock screen settings in One UI 6.1, you'll find a new option called Auto in the Always On Display setting. By selecting this option, the Always On Display will remain active continuously, except in certain conditions, such as when the phone is inside the pocket or in dark conditions for a specific period of time. Then the next new feature is the Photo Ambient Wallpaper feature. With this feature, the lock screen wallpaper can display ambient effects based on the weather of the day. For instance, on rainy days, there will be a rain effect on the wallpaper display. Additionally, you can choose a photo from your gallery to personalize the wallpaper according to your preference. 
To activate the photo ambient wallpaper feature, you must first enable it in the advanced feature settings. Then, select the left menu and choose photo ambient wallpaper. Once you've activated this feature in the left menu, you'll immediately find the photo ambient wallpaper feature when you select one of the wallpapers on the lock screen. The photo ambient wallpaper options can only be activated to display wallpapers specifically on the lock screen. Then another exciting feature is the ability to create your own wallpaper for home screen or lock screen. To generate wallpaper using this latest feature, you can go to the wallpaper settings and select generative wallpaper. Here you can choose a theme for the wallpaper you want to create. For the prompt here, you can only select from the available prompt provided. Here you can select the object you want to display on the wallpaper and choose the color of the wallpaper as well. After making selections, just click on the generate button and the wallpaper will appear based on the prompt you selected. Then you have the option to apply the generated wallpaper display directly to either the home screen or lock screen. In addition to the generative wallpaper feature, the One UI 6.1 version also introduced the latest generative photo editing feature. To use this feature, you'll need to activate it first if it's not already activated. To activate it, you can navigate to Advanced Feature Settings and select Advanced Intelligence. Then here select the Photo Editor option and choose Generative Edit. You can directly edit photos in your Samsung smartphone gallery accessing various features of Generative Edit. The first feature allows you to adjust the tilt of the photo and generate the appearance at the edge of the photo. This feature will be very useful for correcting photos with a slanted horizon line. With this feature, there is no need to zoom in on the photo to fix the horizon line because you can generate the edges of the photo automatically. Then apart from correcting tilted photos, you can also delete objects in the photo with this generative photo editing feature. To make use of this feature, just select the object in the photo you are editing. Then press and hold on the photo and finally click the delete button to remove the object from the photo. Then after a few moments, the object you selected will be deleted and the delete part will immediately be filled in automatically by AI. Then in addition to deleting objects in photos, you can also use this feature to move objects within photos. You simply need to select the object you want to move from one position to another. Then just click the generate button and the object will promptly move to the new position based on your selection. Additionally, the background area that is deleted at the initial object position will be automatically filled in to match the surrounding background in the photo. Then in One UI 6.1, there are slight improvements to the lock screen display compared to the previous version. Now you have the option to change the phone display on the lock screen to another phone available for download via the Galaxy Store. This feature is only available on One UI 6.1 and is not available in previous versions. In this One UI 6.1 version, you have the ability to change the phone display on the lock screen using phones downloaded from the Galaxy Store. So if you have previously downloaded phone from the Galaxy Store, you can use that phone for the clock display on the lock screen in One UI 6.1. And then for the alarm display on the One UI 6.1, there is also some minor improvements to the alarm display compared to the previous version. In One UI 6.1, you can now customize the background color of the alarm display. And you can even use photos from your gallery as backgrounds for the alarm display. Apart from that, there are several new options available for the clock display in this latest alarm display in One UI 6.1. Then in the latest One UI 6.1, there is also a new feature called Adaptive Color Tone that has been added to the display settings. This feature automatically adjusts the color display on the screen based on the lighting conditions surrounding the smartphone display. Then in the One UI 6.1 version, there is also the addition of the latest Super SDR feature in the gallery application. With this feature, you can display photos in your Samsung smartphone gallery with sharper and more contrasting colors. However, it's worth noting that photos on your Samsung smartphone with the Super SDR feature may look slightly different from those on other Samsung smartphones that don't have this feature in their gallery. Then in the One UI 6.1 version, there are three options available for battery protection in the battery settings. There are basic, adaptive, and maximum options. 
In contrast, the previous version of One UI 6.0 only offered one battery protection option, which would automatically limit smartphone charging to a maximum of 85%. Meanwhile, in the One UI 6.1 version, there are three different options for settings. The basic option is the standard setting, which can charge your smartphone up to 100%. While the maximum option can only charge a maximum of up to 80%, and the adaptive option will automatically move from basic to maximum according to your sleep schedule at night. When you sleep on your schedule, the setting will move to maximum, and in the morning, it will move back to basic. And for those of you who often charge your smartphone overnight while sleeping, of course, this adaptive setting will be very useful for you to activate. And then there is also the addition of a new application called Samsung Find. The application icon is like blue, and when you activate it, you can immediately see the location of all your Samsung devices. The Samsung Find application is a new application that has just been added to the One UI 6.1 version, and it's never been found in the previous One UI version. Next, let's explore the latest feature of One UI 6.1 in the camera application. In the camera application of the latest One UI 6.1 version, there are some subtle differences compared to the previous version. In the latest One UI 6.1 update, the previous director's view feature has been renamed to dual recording. The options now also come with buttons that are slightly different from the previous version. Then still in the camera application section, here the super slow motion feature have been removed in the latest One UI 6.1 update. However, the slow motion feature has been enhanced with more comprehensive resolution options in the latest One UI 6.1, including the option for Full HD 240fps slow motion resolution. And now for the slow motion feature, you can also record in 4K resolution with a frame rate of 120fps. Then in this latest update, the nearby share feature which was previously available in various versions of Android has now been renamed to QuickShare. QuickShare is an application for sharing files on various Samsung smartphones. And with the renaming of nearby share to QuickShare, so now you can use QuickShare not only on Samsung smartphones, but you can also use it directly on various other Android devices. Then, apart from recording directly in slow motion mode in the camera application, you can also create the slow motion videos from the standard videos in the gallery. The standard videos in the gallery with Full HD 30fps resolution can be directly converted into slow motion videos, which look quite smooth for a video whose frame rate is only 30fps. You can directly edit a video that is not too long in the gallery, then just select the adjust speed option at the bottom of the video. Then you can simply select the part of the video that you want to make as a slow motion. And then you can immediately save the video with a slow motion effect. Then apart from that, there is also the latest vividness settings for display in this latest One UI 6.1 update. This vividness feature was not available at first on One UI 6.1. But in this latest update, this vividness feature has been added. And then there is also an AI feature update in the latest One UI 6.1 version. You can find the settings directly in the advanced features and select advanced intelligence option. In this option, there are various AI features that you can use in various pre-installed Samsung application. It is available in Samsung Notes voice recorder and also Samsung internet application. You can activate these AI settings in the advanced intelligence options. And then you can choose the AI features you want to use. Then another AI feature that is also very interesting is circle to search feature. You can immediately use this feature on various screen display by pressing the bottom center of your smartphone screen or press and hold on the home button. Then after the circle to search feature is active, you can immediately circle the object on the screen. Then this feature will automatically search information about that object on Google. Then to explore more interesting features about One UI 6.1 and discover more useful setting tips, you can tap on the video that appears on your screen. Hope you find this video useful. See you in the next one.